everyone, Chris here with another recent New Zealand vinyl finds video. It seems like a while since I've made a video, um, never seem to be able to find the time. But I've got a bunch of material here, um, most of it New Zealand material. It seems like, you know, a year ago uh, there weren't that many bands releasing records. I mean, they, they were coming out, but it seemed like, oh, come on, someone put something out of vinyl. But now the stuff's coming thick and fast, and um, we're at the point now where you suddenly can't buy it all, which is uh, no bad thing. And uh, some of the some of the better known bands putting out releases on vinyl, but also lesser known bands going for it as well, like this one, uh, which we're listening to now, Coach, with their album Family Tree. I bought this from a band member the other day, met him at a cafe and, and picked it up, and found out about it because I saw it listed on blog, checked out their band camp page. I've only really had a chance to listen to it once, but it's kind of, um, it's, it's melding together, kind of um, folk rock, rock, post-rock, um, yeah, it's a, it's a nice album and I'll, I'll need to give it a bit more of a listen, but you know, I'd recommend checking out the Bandcamp page, that's uh, Coach Band, I think it is on Bandcamp, that's Coach with Family Tree. Another couple of self-released records here, uh, both kind of drone noise records that feature this guy, Anthony Milton. Here he is in his first one, Anthony Milton and Anla Cortes, who's from Brazil. This was recorded live in a room in Brazil, and it's just two tracks, one per side, of um, kind of, you know, noisy, improvised drone. Bronze Age subway, of the kind of stuff that New Zealand does so well. This guy's from Dunedin, and he's also on this record, which is great, which is Glory Fickin' Sun, that's F-C-K-N, the album's called Spectra. Um, again, kind of quite, quite kind of quiet, ambient drone noise. Beautiful red vinyl, the yellow label. This one's out on tipped bowler tapes. Um, someone who most people in New Zealand never would have heard of, but he's getting overseas releases, and uh, there's a real, a real appetite around the world for you know, experimental New Zealand music and. Some of these people releasing these records are selling more copies of this stuff internationally than some more mainstream bands that are really, you know, selling here in New Zealand. So, uh, a couple of seven inches. Can't remember whether I've shown this or not. Uh, Ray Wolf in the Avengers. Ray Wolf, who's known for his 70s and 80s you know, TV talent show, middle of the road kind of stuff. Um, well, you know, TV, uh, you know, light entertainment shows. But in the 60s he was in R&B groups and there's a compilation of their stuff that's come out. This is a song recorded in the 60s but not released until now. Ray Wolf and the Avengers, Little Things That Happen. It's a great track and signed by him and by um, another member of the band there, Bill. And uh, a couple of 7 inches out on Arch Hill Records. Street Chant, who should have a new album coming out next year hopefully. And this took a long time coming, big problems with the pressing, the record was ordered, the person left the record pressing company and didn't notify anyone, so eventually it came through. Salad Days and Frail Girls, double A side, 33 RPM, longer tracks there, a nice purple vinyl from Street Chant on Arch Hill Records, and Arch Hill, incidentally the label... Ben Howe from Arch Hill has just become general manager of Fly Nun, so we might see some more of the Fly Nun releases see the light of day, which would be great. This is also on Arch Hill, came at the same time. Beach Pigs, five track EP, indie, kind of uh, indie punk, indie, indie rock, good stuff. Again, nice kind of uh, splattered teal coloured vinyl. So you've got, uh, yeah. Four, no, five tracks on, on that EP. The EP was released a while ago, but uh, available online. Again, Bandcamp is the place to go, Beach Pigs. But uh, you can pick up that on a 7 inch as well, which is, of course, much, much better. Alright, what a great album this is. Joe Blossom, Nocturnes. Self released, I think he's only pressed 100 copies, and I highly recommend this. Um, it's really accomplished um, kind of indie pop and there's uh, Joe Blossom himself, I presume it's a pseudonym, 
Um, also, other people on here, Jack Frost and Flash Floods, I suspect it's all, it's all him. Uh, piano, guitars, percussion, very, very kind of uh, carefully and, and well written and arranged songs. There's nothing kind of simple about these, a lot of kind of thought gone into the arrangements and, and structures of the songs. Um, some really strong, strong songs and nicely done. Bought it from him, a nice handwritten note. And um, yeah. yeah, it's done a really, really good job of that. And if you can pick up one of the 100 copies, I, I think you should. It's Nocturnes. This is kind of a uh, funk soul. New Zealand seems to be doing pretty well in that area and getting a lot of recognition from overseas labels. Again, this is out on melting pot music uh, from through Germany. A lot of German releases of New Zealand funk and soul and downbeat. Fun community, checkered thoughts. So all the vocals on this by Rachel Fraser, produced by Isaac Arcidi. I think he might be something to do with Electric Wire Hustle. I'm not 100% sure about that. But yeah, really nicely produced, really kind of uh, lush and smooth sounding record. Unlike this one, uh, the Dead Sea. And you may have noticed if you've been watching past videos that you know I'm on a bit of a Dead Sea bend at the moment and uh, this was nice to pick up. This is called Golden Canine. It's a 12 inch single, 30, uh, 33 RPM, one track per side. It's on clear vinyl. Um, one of the weird things about this is the, the grooves have been put in the wrong way. So you've got to put the needle in the middle of the record and then it goes outwards. And uh, one of the reasons this was nice to pick up was because it's got a few overdubs, but partly it's based on a live recording recorded at the Dogs Bollocks, a very small venue in Auckland. And it was when the Dogs Bollocks just closed in the last couple of weeks. But this was recorded there in uh, 2008. And I was at that show. It was the night before Sonic Youth performed um, Daydream Nation. The Dead Sea were opening for them the following night, but they played their own set. Um, incidentally, so I went along, I took my copy of Sonic Youth Sister along, Lee Ronaldo was there and got him to sign it. So yeah, that was a very kind of special gig for me and um, and you know you can hear kind of audience noise and I like to think that you can hear me on this on this record. And then with the dog's bollocks closing this week, it just kind of seemed, um, yeah, kind of just the right time. And so it was good to pick that up this week and add to that Dead Sea collection. Sometimes a record comes out and you just wish that it would come out on vinyl, you know, you've, that's how frustrating it is, all those records that are released only on CD, and I mean, basically I don't buy things now on CD, I only buy things on vinyl, I mean, that's, there's enough of that to keep me going, but every once in a while there's something that doesn't come out on vinyl and you wish that it would, and uh, this is one that came out, I didn't come out on vinyl, I kept on looking because I've got an Australian release on Spunk, I thought they might put it out, they didn't, but eventually, over a year later, it is out on vinyl. Uh, courtesy of Own Records, which is somewhere in, from somewhere in Europe, Tiny Ruins, Some Were Meant for Sea. What a beautiful record. It's kind of almost stark and just, um, uh, now, what is her name? Holly Fulbrook. Holly Fulbrook. Um, her voice and very, very simply recorded kind of folky pop songs. Um, absolutely beautiful and I'm so pleased that it finally got a vinyl release someone meant to see. I picked that up because um, some of you may know I entered a sleeve face competition and the prize was a hundred dollar voucher at Real Groovy Record Store and I, I won that and so um, I got two fifty dollar vouchers so I've kind of been working out you know when I can spend it and you kind of need to get two records you know to, to use up the voucher so I picked up that one and at the same time something I've had my eye on for a while Lady Hawk Anxiety. This is the second Lady Hawk LP. And this one is more guitar based. The first one a lot more synths, kind of uh, pop, rock, kind of relatively commercial. Um, but you know, good songs and um, maybe a little more commercial than what I normally buy, but I've been listening to it a lot and really enjoying it. And uh, yeah, really beautifully done. I mean, look at that, the gatefold. And um, you've also got in here. I haven't seen this for ages. This booklet of 
Lurix. I suppose this is what happens when you get a big record company behind you. Um, yeah, absolutely stunning package. So, um, for all of those of you who helped me out by voting for my sleeve face competition, thank you very much. Uh, another woman in the, again, more of a kind of commercial vein, Jin, Jin Wigmore. She first rose to fame many years ago winning the International Songwriting Competition. And this is from a, a 10 inch uh, single release from her second album, Holy Smoke. Oh my, really great, catchy, crunchy rock tune. And she's got a fantastic voice, uh, so pick that up pretty cheap. Uh, next up, a couple of things I found at Evil Genius Records. It's a, a record shop in Wellington. I've been wanting to go there for a long time. So the guy who started Evil Genius started in Littleton, um, like literally days before the big earthquake, and had to start over again in Wellington. He's got this fantastic little shop in Berenpore, which isn't in the centre of town, so although I do go to Wellington sometimes, it's normally into the city and then straight back out. And, uh, haven't had a chance to get there, but I did get a very fleeting opportunity to pop in. I mean, I literally had 20 minutes in the store and didn't get to look through all of the bins I wanted to. Um, but I was really impressed and I'll be trying to head back again. And There was something that I'd been after, I'd been looking and I'd kind of found somewhere else in Wellington that had it. and was thinking about going there um, if I didn't buy anything at Evil Genius. And then I walked into Evil Genius and there it was for a cheaper price as well, which is the Body Electric. Um, a 12 inch single New Ze from New Zealand, uh, 1982 I think, on JREM Records. This is um, a synthesizer, um, kind of you know, new wavy synthesizer pop. Um, great, great song, Pulsing. Two mixes of that on here, plus two more tracks. Um, this is kind of groundbreaking New Zealand stuff. I don't know if anyone had been doing this kind of um, synthesizer stuff in New Zealand before the Body Electric came out really great to find that and I also picked up while I was there WD, a little 7 inch 4 track uh, from Stink Magnetic who specialise in garagey surf guitar kind of scuzz rock um, and so I haven't actually listened to that one yet that's on the playlist for this afternoon something else I was after for quite a long time but it came up on Trade Me at the Right Price was this uh, reissue of AK-79 the seminal punk compilation that came out in New Zealand in 1980. This was released, I think, in 2003, maybe. Uh, there was a reunion tour, uh, or a reunion show, bringing together a lot of the acts from from AK-79, and this was put out, it's got the, the uh, it's a two-disc version. The first disc is the, um, the original LP, and then the second one, brings together some of the tracks which featured on the CD reissue in the 90s that Flying Nun put out, plus some other tracks of the era, all kind of, you know, 1979-1980 New Zealand punk rock. So a 2LP edition, um, it's a limited pressing, and uh, with the red cover, was the original cover was black and white, um, but also with this fantastic booklet, uh, with details, coloured booklet, details on all of the bands. And yeah, I've been after this for a while, but um, it just kind of became available and got it for a good price, so I'm really pleased to pick that up. More punk, this is much more kind of, uh, this is from just a few years ago, 2009. Again, one I've been meaning to get for a while. Cobra Khan, Liquid Separation, Shutter, 7 inch single. I wish they'd put more of their um, stuff out on vinyl. Great, great, crunchy heavy sounding um, kind of punk hardcore albums that would be great to have in vinyl release. This one I traded uh, with Andre, who I do the radio show with, um, show with sometimes. He's joining me again in October. We're going to do a third Counting the Beat versus Wax on Wednesday's radio show. Jazz School. This is Greg Malcolm with Eugene Chaborn. Recorded when Eugene Chaborn was touring New Zealand and they got together in the jazz school in Christchurch, recorded this, and um, it's tracks by Dolphy and Lacey, and yeah, kind of, yeah, it's kind of, uh, initially kind of very kind of um, catchy and, and simple, but you listen to it, there's a lot of complexity in there. And finally for this one, 
Right, that's the record finished. Um, my overseas record for this video. Uh, I do buy them occasionally. Dinosaur Jr. And this is the new album I bet on Sky. I love Dinosaur Jr. And uh, this is the deluxe version which came with this additional um, 7 inch or 2 tracks that aren't on the LP. You've got the LP here, uh, gatefold, and in here, where are we? Poster, and somewhere, I can't put my hands on it, there was also the CD and a download. So, uh, multi-format multi release of Dinosaur Junior, I bet, on Sky, and I just think that since, you know, since the reformation of Dinosaur Junior with um, uh, Beyond, you know, a few years back uh, with the original lineup, they've just, all of those albums have been fantastic, and, the, you know, maybe you can argue that maybe they haven't progressed much more since their heyday, but there's nothing wrong with that, it's such a fantastic sound and such a great band, so really nice to have that, and that sounds brilliant, turned up loud. So thanks for watching, there's some of my recent vinyl finds, uh, you can do check out um, countingthebeat.gen.nz, you'll find all the old videos there, plus I also put up podcasts of the radio shows, so every third Saturday of the month on Waiheke Radio I'm playing two hours of Kiwi music on vinyl, so you can tune in and find uh, back episodes of that on that site as well. So thanks for watching everyone.